Well, of all the islands in the Mediterranean, Corsica is about forests and mountains. And in the winter, it gets really, really cold. So this really reflects it, this dish. I mean, we've got game in the form of wild boar. We've got wild mushrooms. We've got figatello, of course. Can't get it in the, in the UK for some reason. It's so delicious. So I've had to use chiritha instead. Now, the other thing about this dish, of course, is chestnuts. I'm going to finish it off with a load of chestnuts just thrown in at the last minute. And that there, I suppose they would be the food symbol of the whole island of Corsica. Well, this is actually my dish, but I wouldn't mind guessing that there's very similar dishes all over Corsica, because, as I said, it's using all those very distinctive flavours. But I came up with the idea at th that village, really, because of where they were celebrating all those particular foods of the area. And for me as a cook, I think that's really quite important to sort of use the local ingredients, come up with a dish, and it sort of, it, it sort of sets a picture of the dish and the country in my mind. Having marinated it all in red wine for 24 hours, I drain it off and then fry the wild boar to brown the meat. I'm just putting the, um, the pork in two batches, otherwise it will um, boil in its own juice rather than caramelise. Now, if I was still in Bastia, I'd be putting in figatelli. But because I couldn't find it anywhere, I'm using chorizo. Corsicans watching this will be most indignant, I'm sure. Now for a spoonful or two of tomato puree and flour to thicken the stew, and that will help absorb some of the fat. Well, this is a new look, me. No measured amounts of flour or anything. Learnt from mothers and grandmothers all over the Mediterranean. Just bung it all in. Next, vermouth. It's got a really herby flavour and the residue of the red wine marinade. It's so important to really, really sear meat when you're making a stew. I mean, the Corsicans know that. They stew, stew everything. I was reading somebody rather jokingly said, you know, they sort of stew their grandmother if you gave them half a chance. That was a sort of jokey implication of it. But it's really lovely and velvety now, and I just know it's going to end up tasting it. And the colour is so good when you really caramelise the meat. I put in some dried porcini mushrooms for a woodland flavour and some homemade beef stock. I season this well. It's a rich dish, comforting autumnal food, I say. Perfect for when the wind is whistling through the maki in the back end of October. I cover now and gently simmer for an hour to an hour and a half. Then add some fresh ordinary mushrooms and chanterelle and then put in the essence of Corsica, chestnuts, these come from a tin, and I'm very pleased they did too, because it would take longer to peel the blooming things than cook this entire dish. Add chopped parsley, cook for a further 10 minutes, and serve with a good chunky pasta like penne. After all, Corsica has many strong links with Italy, and a deep local red like Patrimonio would be a very welcome addition. Bon appetit.